face off Vice President Surface, Panos Panay. Uh, thanks a lot. I like pretending I'm a DJ. I'm going to turn this down. Check this out. This is a new accessory we're going to be launching today. I'll tell you all about it in just a minute. It's kind of bring into life, click in and do more, a little bit more. Well, thanks for coming out today. This is a big day for Surface. This is a big day for the Surface team in Redmond. I personally am very excited. This is something we've been waiting to show you for some time. We've been working on the second generation of products for a good part of 18 months to 24 months. And when you're working on hardware like this and you have a whole team in Redmond, they're all kind of watching via live blog. So if one of you would just quickly blog to them and say, <laughs> Pano says hi, that would be phenomenal because <clears throat> they really wanted a live stream and they're not getting it. Here's the deal, you're going to have to bear with me. I've measured this uh, talk track a number of times. I do everything in steps these days because I try and stay in shape. It's about 4,000 steps. So you're going to see me take steps all over the stage. Come along with me on this journey. We're going to take about 40 minutes to talk about the products. What you're going to hear today is fairly simple. We're going to introduce to you the next generation of devices, two of them, the most powerful professional use tablet you will ever use or see will be introduced today in Surface Pro 2. And the most productive personal tablet ever built with Surface 2. You're going to see both those devices today. Along with it will be seven accessories. I'm excited about these. I want you guys to feel them with me. I want you to see the transformation that's happening from Surface Generation 1 to Surface Generation 2. It is so important that we do this journey together. Let's start right now with Surface Pro 2. Let me introduce you Surface Pro 2. So this is pretty exciting. Surface Pro has been one of the best products that Microsoft has ever built. It's a best-selling device in its class. I'm not sure if a lot of people know that. We don't talk about it a lot, but Surface Pro in its class has been the number one selling device. It's pretty cool. The product itself went out at $899. It is a SKU that has blown the doors off of our expectations without doubt. Now that said, the people who, love, who use Surface Pro, they love Surface Pro. They love it. I love Surface Pro. I use it all the time. That said, we only set out to make it better. And when you have a product that's working, when you have a product that people really understand, you have to put more energy into that. Reinventing the wheel is not the goal. Making it better is. Let me tell you how we did. The screen, a lot of you love this screen. I love the screen. It's the clear type HD display that you're used to. It's absolutely gorgeous. We spent more and more energy to bring this thing to life, that if you were going to use it as a professional every day, we wanted it to be as productive as possible. We added, we added and see if you can understand this, because it's so important, the true to color, the true to life images that come off of this. 46%, 46, that's a funny number. So let's say about 50% more color accuracy to the screen. That means we're taking every pixel and bringing out the true colors of everything you put on this. This is super important. If you're a pro using this, and I'm going to show you people who do that, and you're going to meet people in just a few minutes who do that, this is really important. You want the real images coming off. If you're using high resolution photos, if you're editing movies, whatever you might be doing and you're a pro, you need that perfect color coming off the screen. So the power of the screen has only increased here, which is critical. We got a lot of feedback on the speakers where we worked on the sound but not the boost. We've boosted these speakers and added Dolby to the Surface Pro 2 lineup. Dolby Edition has made this thing, it's almost, it's supremely elegant. I love to work. I listen to music in the background while I'm doing so, and bringing those things to life while I'm using it is really important to me. Those are subtle changes. Let's talk about the more impactful ones. Here's why people love this product. They love it because it's fast. They love it because it's the fastest product they've ever used. Surface Pro, and now Surface Pro 2, is faster. It literally is faster than 95% of all laptops in market today. Faster than all laptops. Now that's the full power of this tablet. It's a full PC. 
and then transform that word and move it into a tablet form factor. That's what this product has done. With that, moving to Surface Pro 2, we've increased the graphics performance on this product by 50%, 50. We then took that and said, we can't stop there. I think you expected me to talk about battery life first, but I want you to hear this. We improved the performance on this product by 20%. If you thought it was fast before, it is lightning fast now. It is lightning fast now. So all that said, there were two really important elements of making Surface Pro 2 bring it to life. Surface Pro, people use it, like it. Surface Pro 2 gets better on a number of fronts. I'm going to open the kickstand. In the past, you've heard me talk about the kickstand quite a bit and how much it means to the team to make sure they got every part of this design perfect, that it disappears when you don't need it, and it's there when you do, that it sounds like a high-end car door when you open and close it, that it feels great, it gives you confidence to use it. It's so important for the people using these products to have confidence, no doubt. Here's one of those tweaks. Here's one of those tweaks. When you look at me, you probably think I'm about six foot five. I know that. But the truth is, I'm not. I'm only 5'8". I know, it's shocking. A lot of people don't see that. And for 5'8", when you're holding a device and you're sitting at your table and you put it down on its kickstand at 22 degrees, it works perfectly. So we did design the perfect angle for 5'8". And for 5'9", and probably 5'10". But when you start pushing six feet, you need better angles. But more important than the angle that you might be looking at it at is probably using it in your lap. And one of the things that people say is, Panos, if it really is the power of a PC in a tablet, uh, in a tablet form factor, and if you really can use it as a laptop, it needs to work better in the lap. So we did this. Now you look at it and you think it's subtle. Let me show you how it works in the lab. This is probably the most effective way. I'll get up here, take a look. <clears throat> this is, sorry, a little Disney. This is Surface Pro. This is Surface Pro 2. Do you see the subtle difference? Sometimes subtlety can be the most impactful force. And in this case, I now have it on my knees with perfect balance, and I'm able to use it on my lap in the most effective way. And if I happen to be 6'2", which I'm not, it also works as a great angle. This is the evolution of the kickstand. The Surface team is very proud of this. I know when you use it, I know when you use this, you will adore it. This is something that will change this product in ways that you cannot expect. All that said, we gave you a better screen We've boosted the speakers. We've added 50% graphics performance to the product. We increased the speed of the product by 20%. Everyone who's bought a Pro loves a Pro. But what do they say? What's the one thing they say about the product? What is it? You can tell me. Battery. Of course. So now what you're expecting for me to say, so I'll say it, is we've added Haswell to the product, absolutely. It is a killer feature, but we didn't stop there. We didn't want to just bring you 20% improvement in battery life. We didn't want to detune the PC so it's slower, so I can run it cooler and get you more battery life. The point of this product is to work fast. The need of the product is to work all the time. We couldn't miss either one of those. So we pushed the battery life further. The double E team on this product, the Emmys, all went through. They made it operate cooler, quieter, all fact. But most important, with every element of the redesign, every single element of the redesign, they focused on one thing on top of everything I've offered you here, and it's more battery life. Surface Pro 2 from Surface Pro is a 75% improvement in battery life across the board. 
pound for pound, watt for watt, it will be the most efficient product you use, and yet it is faster than 95% of all laptops and ultrabooks on the market, in the market today. Very important to note. But for a guy like me, that's never enough. I always want more. My team, the team, our team, Surface, wants more. They are relentless in what they do. So, we decided to go from Surface Pro to Surface Pro 2 with power cover. You get two and a half times battery life from the original product. I want to introduce you to the power cover. This is Surface Power Cover. Now, here's what's cool about power cover. It's a 30 watt hour battery added to your product. But note how I close it and I get to hold it in the same elegant form factor that you've come to know and many have come to love with Surface. It clicks right in. It forms like a book. It feels great. It's elegantly integrated and it looks beautiful. It's wrapped in fabric, so it's super comfortable. And I'll talk about type cover two in just a minute and I'll give you some more of the features, but you see how this product now comes to life. Two and a half times more battery life. For me, I'd use Surface Pro. I really would, a lot, during the day. But I would have to leave my meetings or I'd have to get to my office and plug in. That's just a fact. It has changed. The game has changed. Surface Pro 2 now lets you use it all day and you get that full power when I say it is the most productive, professional tablet in the world, I mean it. And it's for all of you. I want you to love this product. Let me show you a little bit more. Now, I've talked about the power of the PC quite a bit. And I think the one thing that we've kind of not talked about a lot is how much of a workstation this thing really can be. And what we're, hearing in from, what we're hearing from businesses, and we hear it continuously, is we want to buy one product. We want to buy one product for our employees. We hear it from people. I need one product to work, play on, of course, and I need one product to take to work and use as my full powered PC. I want to introduce to you the Surface Docking Station. You can see it here, and it might not look like your traditional docking station, as it is not. You can see that I've docked a Surface, here, the beauty of this product is I never had to take off my touch cover, my type cover, my power cover, never had to, because it clicks right in seamlessly. Every detail thought about by the Surface design team, really thinking about every measure you need to just set it in as simply as possible. But what does it do when you dock it? We know what a docking station does. Everybody uses a docking station. But just take your mind here really quick. We went from a tablet to a laptop, and we can use it in both forms, but now we've moved it to a desk? We now have a workstation PC right in front of us? Now, because it clicks in and you're able to use DisplayPort, you can see the resolutions up on the screen. You can power two monitors right off this docking station. You can power up to 3840 by 2160. That is massive resolution in this PC. And if I'm telling you and you believe that this is faster than almost any PC you've ever used, and it is, as, fact, as a matter of fact, I'm looking at many of these PCs that it's faster than. <laughs> I mean, I, could, I cannot believe how many I'm seeing that are not as fast as Surface Pro 2. For the record. <laughs> it's an amazing product. So what I decided to do, we decided to show you the most computationally intensive scenario we could find. And here's how we found it. People do this. Real people use Surface Pro this way. Now these real people are going to be excited because Surface Pro 2 is that much better. But take a quick look. I'm going to show you a collaboration between Assimilate and a camera called Red Dragon. The Red Dragon camera is one of the highest resolution cameras in the world. This is the Red Dragon camera. I've got to be really careful not to drop it. There's a real reason. There's only five to ten of these in the entire world. Now, the Diamond Brothers are here today. You get to meet them. They're behind this curtain. These are people who use the Red Dragon camera and work the scenario I'm about to show you every day as they make films. 
This is the same camera that made Game of Thrones. This is the same camera working right now on mega blockbuster Hollywood movies. But I'm not showing off a camera. I don't necessarily need to show you this. What I want to tell you is the data coming off of this camera is raw 6K data. That's 9x the resolution of full HD. Nine times the resolution of full HD comes off of this raw. And it ends up here on Surface Pro 2. Take a look at the image coming off my Surface Pro 2 here. Look at the details in this image that are so impactful. Now I'm going to just put my finger on it and I'm going to move the screen. Can you see the hair on the child and that beautiful, how it's moving and it's flowing? That's just me moving my finger. Now if I'm a movie maker, this is a big deal. I'm using raw 6K footage right off the screen and I can do what I want with it here at my workstation as a full powered PC. But that's not the cool part. That's powerful, not the cool part. Here's what is. I can take it right to the movie set with me. Take a look. Now we're using raw data. No tricks, no magic trick, nothing funny, but we're using the 46% color improvement on the optically bonded screen with the least amount of reflectivity in the entire industry, so there's very little glare. I'm outside, let's just pretend, because I love pretending I'm a movie maker. I'm outside on a movie set right now. I'm sitting with the director, I'm the producer, I am the director. I have raw data that I was able to transfer right into my product using USB 3.0 at full speed. I take that data onto my full PC that's acting like a tablet and look how I can edit real time by adding more blue or taking away more blue. This is raw data. That's 6K raw. If there's a professional out there that understands what that means, they are looking at this right now going, holy crap. They are. This is power. And when we talk about having the full power of a PC in a tablet form factor, I am showing you that right now. We're really proud of this. It's very cool. You'll meet the Assimilate guys. They're here as well. You'll get to meet them in just a few minutes. It's going to redock it so you can see how it docks. Okay. We've talked about Surface Pro 2. I'd like to talk for a minute about using the product in your lap and what it means and how you bring that to life. I want to introduce you to Type Cover 2. Now, this is interesting. Type Cover 2 is a beautiful product. It is a beautiful product. It comes in many different colors, and I don't want to trivialize colors. I don't want to put a letter behind it. I just want to show you the colors. Here's why. It's amazing the feedback we got on the touch cover. It's amazing the people that loved it for what it did. And it's amazing for the people that loved it for how it felt. And it's also amazing how people want to personalize their devices. So the first thing we did with type cover, because it's the biggest piece we got, was we gave it to you in color. But I want to take you past that just really quick. We don't want to stop by just adding a color. We want to push the barrier of being as productive as you possibly can. It is clear that input makes you productive. This is one of many scenarios, whether it's creativity, whether it's producing something, but for sure typing is a scenario that makes you productive. This product does that. This product has changed. It is exactly one millimeter thinner than the last type cover, but let me tell you why. We don't want to just give you a thinner product, although it does fit better in your bag and it is lighter. Those seem to be important. We want to give you a better key switch. We want it to type faster. We want you, we want you to be faster. We want you to be better. The key switch on this is unbelievably innovative. We've taken a full millimeter of travel out of the key switch. We then take that millimeter of travel and we add it to the overall package, which reduces it by one full millimeter. Type Cover 2 is now almost as thin 
as touch cover one. That key switch, because it's a millimeter and a half travel, is faster throw, so when you're throwing your finger at it, you can type faster. More important, it's silent. So for those of you who are typing right now and beating my ears down with your keyboards, this product, when you use it next year, you are going to feel, but you will also not hear how productive this product can be. So for students who love these products, they can type in their classrooms. That's a big deal. There's one more thing. I almost forgot to show you. It's not only thinner, it's also backlit. Now I want you to watch the backlighting really quick. You're gonna see in about nine seconds, it's going to dim. Here is why. Because we know you're not using it right now, we've dimmed it. And when I go to use it again, it will turn itself back on knowing that I want to use my keyboard. This is important from the element for proximity sensing brings together the fact that I get to save battery life on my product at all times. Because we power the covers through the device, we want to make sure we don't steal any of that from the people that need it but we also want to bring you the beauty and elegance of a type cover with backlighting. Note the beauty of type cover with Surface Pro 2. So that's Surface Pro 2. You get a better screen. You get great speakers. 50% 50 more graphics performance, it's 20% faster all up, 75% more battery life. You get to use it all day. The kickstand now allows lapability. And with Type Cover 2, which is a more rigid product, which is a thinner product, which is a quiet product and backlit, you now have the full ability to use literally what I believe is the most powerful tablet for professional use in the world. I want to transform this conversation a little bit now to Surface 2. And I'm going to change the tone slightly purposefully, and I want to talk to you a little bit about what the Surface team has done. Surface 2 is the product that we're introducing to you today that is not subtle, but it is a revamp. It is not the simple changes that everybody wants, but it's the revamp that people need. When the team set out to deliver Surface RT, when the Surface team put itself together to go deliver that product, they had a vision. We had a vision. We went out to create a product where people can buy and get away from just consumption and get away from either their iPad or their tablet in a way where they have another chance to be more productive. We wanted to allow people, for those that wanted to go get more done, we wanted to give them that chance. We wanted to create that for folks. We had a vision in the first generation to do that. We have a long pipe of products that enable that. We now move to the next generation of Surface. We continue to work to realize that vision. The vision to help people get more done. The vision to not only love the device you're using, but to know you can be so productive with it, even while you're having fun. I want to introduce that product to you today. I want you to get a great feel for it, and I want you to get your hands on it. I really want you to get your hands on this product today, and I'm excited about it. Before I get started, here's a quick summary video that the hardware team made for you guys.
team is super proud of that video. I really wanted to show it to you, and they should be proud. Ladies and gentlemen, Surface 2 is ready. This product really is a revamp. This is the fastest product I have used relative to a personal tablet. This product is faster in every single way. We've doubled the bus speed on this product for Wi-Fi. We've doubled the bus speed for the memory. We've increased the CPU speed dramatically. You're using this thing at speeds that are unprecedented. We revamped the product so you can see the true magnesium of the product coming out. The color brings it to life. We've moved for the people who have so much pride in the Surface product that they've built. We've added the Surface logo because it's one of the highest pieces of demand that come out. You're using a Surface. You want people to know you're using a Surface. Let them know. A lot of the things we did here were specifically thought about to bring all of Microsoft to life. This wasn't just about a stage for Windows 8. This wasn't just about something you can do on Office. This product is about everything Microsoft has to offer. We took the screen that you love on Surface Pro. We made it better for Surface Pro 2. We took the screen we made better for Surface Pro 2 and we put it here in Surface 2. The screen on this product is a full 1080p clear type display. The product runs three to four times faster than you've seen in the past. We take the full pixels, bring them to life, no latency, no lag, full speed. If we're gonna have you and ask you to be productive, we have to make sure we give you the best device possible to do so. We move from USB 2.0 to USB 3.0. Every single change brings this product up to be everything you need. In the last product, we talked about trade-offs. We really did. We talked about the trade-off on resolution for the battery life. Speed, heat, weight, the angles. In the last product, we talked about the beauty of the product. One, one shot kickstand, and now of course two. You can use it in your lap. It's a great typing experience. We took the product from three pieces to two pieces of magnesium. We use the same injection molding process that we used in the past, but we made the walls of the product thinner. We made the product faster. We made the product brighter. We made the pixels double. We brought you less reflectivity, half of that of any of our competitors. And we did all that, and we still added another 25% battery life to this product. <laughs> Thanks. 25% more battery life. I use this product well above 12 hours a day in the use cases that I use it. This product lasts all day, but it's faster. Therefore, the battery should get bigger, right? It didn't. This product got lighter, and the product got thinner. We've made all these improvements. We've made them all, and I can tell you all day, spec, spec, spec. I can give you feeds, feeds, and feeds, and you'll see it and you'll feel it, and I'll tell you how it's lighter and thinner. I'll even tell you how it's awesome, and I'll tell you how it's even sexier, because it is. But, how's it better? What's changed? What's the difference? A year ago, we launched this product with Windows 8. Today, we launched this product with Windows 8.1. If you've used Windows 8.1, you know the next part of this summary. The power of Windows 8.1 comes to life in full on this product. The fact that you can use split screen, three apps at the same time, you can be so productive and have fun, and I'm gonna show you that. 
It doesn't slow down. There's nothing that slows it down. You can switch between users. For me personally, I use my Surface 2 at home and I've been using it for a while. And it's been a lot of fun this year because last year I couldn't show the kids what we were building. They were all kind of in this secret vault thing. But now I'm able to show them when we go home. But I only take one Surface 2 home. I take only one Surface 2 home on purpose because I watch the kids switch from account to account to account. I have four of them, but only three of them are allowed to use it in case you were doing the math. And I'll show you the fourth who's not allowed to use it and you'll see why in just a minute. We do that because the power of Windows allows it. And because we're using Surface 2 with the Windows RT 8.1 OS, we're able to protect this device 100% fully through and the kids can roam through everything and we can change our settings and it's just awesome. It's personalized. This is my personal device that I'm showing you here. The personalizations you can do on Windows 8.1 are fantastic. When you go to the desktop, it's seamless. It is a beautiful product through and through and it brings Windows 8.1 to life. Is that enough? No, absolutely not. Last year we launched this product with 10,000 apps. 10,000 apps. This year I stand up in front of you and there's 100,000 apps in the Windows Store right now. That is critical. But not just any app, great apps that we just announced that are coming in Flipboard and Facebook and Mint. And then the NFL Fantasy app, because that's what I use and my fantasy team is really bad, and I lost again yesterday. And for the record, my team is 0 and 3, unless, I don't know, one of these dudes scores 50 points tonight. But when you use an app on here, you realize how powerful this product is. And we've increased those apps, and that store is coming to life. And like anything, as the generation of products come, the power of this product will come out through the applications. And that's exciting. And we're seeing that. But there's the one app we don't talk about enough, is there? What is it? We don't talk about it enough. And I'm, so I'm going to talk about it again. It is the most powerful app in the world. It's the one that almost everybody uses. It comes with this device. It doesn't only come with Word, PowerPoint, Excel. It also comes with Outlook. When you buy Surface 2, you get the full office suite with it. The full office suite. All of it comes to life. If this was going to be productive, if you were going to be productive with this device, you're going to need Outlook. And it works flawlessly on this product. And so when we decided, when we decided to design this device, we didn't sit back and decide, we're going to design it for the hardware. We're going to design it for just Office. We designed it for every single property within Microsoft that we could. I want to show you a few of those design tweaks so you can get a feel for that. I want you to understand that when you're building an entire piece of hardware, the software and the services coming together matter. I want you to understand it so much that as we talk about what you get when you buy Surface 2, that you feel it, that you know that we mean it. And to do that, I want to show you a couple of demos. Let's start with this simple demo, if that's OK. And this is, um, this is not my formal desktop, just so you know, my, but it is one that's similar. I'll leave this one here for you guys. Uh, this is running all four Office apps at the same time, as you can see that right now. I think that's important to note. You have uh, my uh, inbox here that I can do mail from and open. You can see how quick Outlook is just by touching it. I have a touch cover too, which I'll talk about in a minute and show you, but now I have my full productivity scenario in hand. But I want to show you something else. I'm just going to swipe from the left, and I'm going to bring up, with the integration of Xbox games, the Halo Spartan Assault game. Now I want you to notice something. Julie, do you mind if I hand you this? Ladies and gentlemen, Julie Larson Green's here. I'm going to have Julie demo, I know. Um, being our Xbox leader. She's going to run around here using Halo. Now, I think what I want you to understand is what's happening is the Surface 2 is pulling from 72 cores on the GPU right now. Surface was 12. We're using Tegra 40 in the product. We now go from 12 cores to 72 cores on the GPU. You want gaming to come to life 
It is yours. What's happening in this scenario, Julie, don't die. What's happening in this scenario is interesting. I plugged into my USB 3.0 port a wireless dongle. There's no trick here. Julie's just gaming. I'm using the HDMI out port. So you can port right to your screen. So you can do full gaming off the power of this product right now. Is that kick ass? I think it is because I'm a gamer and I love it. But check this out. Sorry, Julie. Ju I know, you're so intense. Sorry, we're not really playing a game right now. I'm still running all my favorite Office apps in the background. Nothing stops me from running as many products as I want at the same time. And if I really wanted to bring you back, Julie, I could. Don't start playing again, okay? I could. I can bring you right here, double the screen, and then I can pull you out and make it any size I want now, and that's the power of Windows, and then I have the full game on my right, and I have the full productivity scenario on my left. Let me be super clear. This scenario is absolutely ridiculous. If you think you're gonna play Halo and work at the same time, you've got issues. Do you understand? You have issues. So whoever said I do that, you have issues. I can help you with those issues. Come and see me. You're really better off working or playing, doing them at the same time. It's called ADD. Don't do it. Okay. <laughs> I do it, by the way. <clears throat> I want to go to another scenario, and that is really about Xbox games, and we talk about Xbox Music, who's done some wonderful things that's being designed by the Xbox Music team right now, where you're really able to take your entire iTunes collection and within a minute through the USB 3 port, move it into Xbox Music and have a great music experience for those of you who want to come off of that. But I want to switch over to a Skype conversation. This one's important because it really does show off and highlight, it really does highlight the power of doing software services and hardware together. I want to talk about the Surface 2 cameras really quick. The back camera on this is phenomenal. And the same scenario where you can use the back camera hands-free and record a video has only improved by 5x. Only 5x. And the stills you take off of it are gorgeous. I don't want to show you that today because the power of the front-facing camera is one of a kind. The back camera, take a look at it later. The front camera really matters, here's why. When we talked about designing this product for all of Microsoft, when we work with all the other teams across the company and we work together, we bring out the power of this product, we bring it out so much, I need to show you this and now you get to see my fourth child and this is the one who's not allowed to touch the surface at home and you'll understand why in just a minute. This scenario is real and it's one that I do all the time. That matters to me. While I play Halo plenty and I work a lot, I don't actually do them together, but I wanted you to see the power of the product. What I do do a lot is Skype, and I travel a lot. And the Skype scenario I should normally show you is this beautiful shot of my children. But like in normal life, right now they're getting ready for school, and it's really not worth stopping them getting ready for school to give you a live broadcast. But when I'm in China, they're usually sleeping when I'm awake. And so the best way to communicate is through Skype um, video messaging. And if you haven't used video messaging, it's super, it's super personal and it's really impactful. But I'm going to show you this really quick. Let's see what Anna has to say. Um, and this is her message. Hi, guys. Have a safe flight. <laughs> I miss you so much. I ate cereal, cocoa, pebble. <laughs> yeah. And I missed you. I hope you have a safe flight. <laughs> so she's adorable. Um, yeah, I know. Look how it says looking good. Did you guys see that? It says looking good. It doesn't say that very often, so you should look at that. Um, so I'm going to change the angle of the kickstand. This is important, and as this product continues to evolve itself and you wanted to do something like create Skype, I'm just going to change it, and you see how it's created the great angle for me here to use the camera. Now. This is not a flattering camera angle. I know I'm not Brad Pitt, I'm clear, but this... Mm. But anyway, don't use a camera from the bottom if you want it to look good. But for sending a message to your kids, this makes the point. Note how the lights are dimming in the room right now. Note how I am not dimming. Note how they continue to dim. And note how I do not. What's happening here is super powerful. This is Skype and the Surface team and Windows 8.1 working together 
to bring to you, now look how dark it is in this room, the best possible experience you can have at every given time. We put a third inch sensor in the front of this product. It is unprecedented. It's a unique lens. We're able to filter light through the product. So now, even though there's very little light in the room, and this is a real to life scenario, how many times have you been on a call where you can't see somebody's face because they don't know how to manage the lights? Or you have to tweak the lights to get it right. We don't want that to be the case. We just want you to push the button, send your message, have your call, have your chat. This is the power of Surface and Skype coming together. This is a very cool demo. Let's send a message back to Anna. Clearly, we're not allowed to eat sugar cereal in my house, and she's taking advantage of that. But we uh, will send one quick message. This is when you see my great parenting skills in action. Go to bed. <laughs> Effective, right? OK, that is specifically Skype. I worked on that line forever, by the way. <laughs> to really nail this point, we're doing more than just bringing you the hardware and software together. We want to bring you the service. When you purchase a Surface 2 or a Surface Pro 2, you get with it free international calling from Skype. You also get with it free Skype hotspot Wi-Fi. That's millions of hotspots available to every user through Skype with the purchase of Surface. That is killer. OK, let me uh, set up this machine really quick and let it run. That will update. And I'm going to take my personal machine and do something else now. OK, so when we talk about the power of Windows 8.1, the power of working across Microsoft, we talk about these things coming together. This is a demo that brings that to life as well, and I want you to see it. It's a kind of fun. Um, I'm holding here. This is my PC. This is my Surface 2. I use it for everything. This literally is my device. On it, all my files are saved to SkyDrive. All of them. All of them. All my photos, all my documents, all my music, everything lives in the cloud. This is the, gen this is the time. We talk about the cloud a lot. I can't see the cloud, but I know it's there. SkyDrive. Now, when you get Surface 2, you get this automatic opportunity to use SkyDrive because your files automatically default to the cloud because you can sync seamlessly at any time. And as it turns out, this scenario is going to be made possible for all of you, and I want you to see it. Because everything continues to sync and seamlessly, you don't have to try. It just does, and it just works. A lot of people had tweeted me and were asking me, Panos, are you going to drop a unit on stage? And I can throw this and try and break it to make this point. And we actually brought a sledgehammer, and I was going to break one. And that was a bad idea, because we tried it, and we couldn't break it. But people looked like they were going to get hurt. So we backed off of all that. And I'm going to make the same point this way. It's a really hard device to break. The build quality is unbelievable. You can drop it from almost any height. People have driven over it with cars. There's all kinds of things that happen. But what I'm going to do with this device now is maybe a real scenario. Let's assume I left it in the back of an airplane pocket. Or let's assume somebody stole it. Let's just do that. For just a minute, come with me. Now, here's why this scenario is important to me. It's happened to me twice. <laughs> so for me, I need this. And it's really important. But now remember what's on here. All my documents, including my entire roadmap, Mary Jo, all of it, three years of it, Mary Jo, right here on this device. Where's Paul? Hey, dude, it's on here, all of it. Let's just pretend your arch nemesis in media had all your information and was giving it to the world on a daily basis. Let's just pretend that was happening. It's just a, it's a totally fake scenario. And then let's say that on this device, you had the next three generations of Surface, which we do and we're designing right now. But you lost it, and it got right in the hands of the people that you might not trust with the information. 
I'm just saying, Mary Jo. <laughs> Here's what's great. That product, it's BitLocker enabled. By the time I get on the stage and finish this, there's really no hope for Mary Jo to break into that product. But that's not what this demo is. And if you do, you can have my roadmap. <laughs> it's on there. Good luck. Here's what the demo is. You saw me just start this device, and it's done updating. This is literally the exact same device recreated just eight minutes ago with all my information on it, none of it lost. Uh, you know why I love this? It's like a magic trick, and it works, and you don't need to know magic. This is the power of SkyDrive. So I think you get the point. How's it going, Mary Jo? <clears throat> Still working on it. <clears throat> Surface 2, super fast. Better screen. Great Dolby speakers. Works in your lap. Great games. It comes with the full office suite. And one more thing. For those of you who said you don't use SkyDrive, we're going to solve that right now, too. When you buy a Surface 2, you get 200 gigabytes for two years of SkyDrive on day one. Day one. We want you to believe in the services that we put against our hardware. And when you purchase it, you do so. Buying 32 gigs, that's interesting. Buying 232 gigs, that's powerful. The minute you purchase that device, you get it. Now, Mary Jo, I think you published $4.99. We're selling Surface 2 at $4.49. So with SkyDrive, 200 gigs. With Skype, unlimited international calling. With the full power of Office and Outlook, you get the entire product suite of Surface 2, all its speed, all its power, all the new apps, $449. A very, very powerful opportunity for people. We're very proud of that. Let me show you one more thing. This is touch cover. This is touch cover two. And like type cover, it's uniformly backlit. Let me show you that. Des, I'm throwing you off. Kill the lights. So I'm gonna show you the backlight. Now this product is two and a half millimeters thin. That is one full millimeter thinner than the last touch cover. It's two and a half millimeters, feels more rigid, turns itself off when not being used, and turns itself on. Is that gorgeous? How do you get something that thin and perfectly uniform backlight? It's really marvelous what the Surface team has done back in Redmond, and they continue to innovate but that's not the real innovation in this product. Let me show you what is. If you look up on this screen, there's 80 sensors on the left side. That's your left, right? There's 80 sensors on your left. Go ahead and count them. Let's do that together really quick. <laughs> You're right, that was pretty good. I was just kidding. You don't actually have to, for those of you who started counting, stop counting. Um, there's 1,092. Don't try and count those. Just trust me. On the touch cover two. Now, what does that do? What does it mean? It's thinner. It's lighter. It's like a piece of paper. It feels great when you click it in. It feels like a book when you close it. The product Surface 2 got thinner. Touch cover got thinner. There's innovation all over it. But still, what does the high resolution sensor get you? Well, a number of things. If you used to type in the past with touch cover, and there's a boy over here who you'll meet in a bit, uh, who does 120 words per minute on touch cover, you might have dropped keys. If you look in between those sensors, it's because your finger hit right in between the sensors. With the high resolution sensor, we not only have a faster scanning rate, we can pick up your typing faster. You can't miss a key. You physically cannot miss one. As a matter of fact, whichever one you miss, as long as you're closer to that than the other one, we know and we make the choice for you. We have predictive typing that comes off the product. So when you talk about making it the most productive personal product ever, you will type on this thing and you will not miss words. We will either predict them with you or you will not miss a key and you can go full speed. Now with Type Cover 2 and Touch Cover 2, they work on all our products. 
whether you had a Surface RT, a Surface Pro, a Surface Pro 2, or a Surface 2, it works across the board as you would expect. But that's not where this sensor ends. You can then do gestures on top of it, and we'll give you more productive gestures. We can give you opportunities that you've never seen before. And what I want you to do is come with me on a small journey right now, just a little one, and I've been very product focused, but I want to be a little vision focused for just a minute. Everything the Surface team does right now, everything they do back in Redmond, is focused on not only now, but the future. We have to be thinking generations ahead. We started Surface 2 long before Surface RT launched. This sensor is to open your mind just a bit. And if I were to tell you that you can click in and do more, and it had a lot more to do than typing, what would you think that meant? Take a look at this video. I can see why they were doing it. Choose the color that yeah. best. I'm easily seduced sound. by color, like well so. <laughs> Sold. Type, that's it, you know. <laughs> Thank you. Smack it on, like when you close the car door and it sounds really hygienic. Has a good sound. Our objective to come to Art Center was to kind of break out of the box, thinking about you know the concept of Surface and Surface the accessories and the whole the kind of what else could you do with it. We thought, well, you know, it would be awesome to inspire other people what they could do with it. You know, what can you do when you click in and do more? We first thought, oh, you click in the keyboard. A red one and a green one, and one, one with, ones with keys and ones that are just, you know, touch-based. I'm going to show you something new here. It's pretty cool, right? So what else could you come up with that you could attach to this unit? Or what else could you think about in terms of a physical affordance? What could these products be? How could we interact with them? Let's do this. What if the blade was a painting surface? What if the blade can be a solar panel? Provide a new way to navigate through space? What if the blade could diagnose someone? To interact with a toy? You can heat up your coffee. Game controller. It's a piece of drawing. Can be a teacher. Studio instruments. Printed media like newspapers, coloring books, magazines. Change pictures into songs. Interactive wallpaper. The cash register. Four dimensional media platform. Right. This is different. It's a surface. It's a tablet. It's, it's this pad. And as soon as you start thinking that way, you know, there's a lot that starts. It's an app that I can touch. I can utilize it in a whole different way. I mean, this is just scratching the right. surface. What if, what, what if, if, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if the blade? You just drop it on the deck. Next to here. So many very cool ideas. It's cool, right? <laughs> We asked the question, what would you do if you can click in a different blade? I'm going to show you the first next generation of the version of what you could do. This product is called the Surface Remix Project. <clears throat> this product will be available 1022. You should go look at what that means up on surface.com. Uh, you can see more details. But now I want to tie you back to the vision that what could be and everything that's going to come from this platform, but more importantly, what the technology is able to do for it. So let me show you one quick example. When I told you we had a full resolution sensor on the product, and I'll explain to you what I'm doing right now in just a minute, <clears throat> it was that same high resolution with pressure sensitivity that you get on your first touch cover. So you can put your hands down and nothing will happen. You can then pound the keys and it'll know what sort of pressure you're putting on it. Now I can take you to that next level. Now the Surface Remix project is interesting. What this basically does is this is a cover that lets you remix your favorite music and then share it with the entire world. That's what this does. You don't have to be a great musician to do so. It's a very powerful tool. 
First, let me show you. I'm going to hit the number one, and this is um, the Remix kit that you see here clicked in. It's the same thinness of any touch cover you've seen before, and it's backlit beautiful with different colors. But let me now just hit the number one. You see how I'm hitting it? This is just a bass drum I'm hitting. Watch how I hit it softer. See if you can keep up with my finger in the sound. And watch how I hit it harder. Can you hear that? That's demonstrating pressure way beyond anything we've shown you before. We know how hard you're hitting that key. We know you're trying to compress something. We know you're putting pressure. If you were finger painting, you could smudge your ink harder. Think of the things that can happen beyond just a simple touch. Pressure. Now this product is interesting because it does come to life. We've been working with some of the top artists in the world. They've been loving this product. What I have on here is a combination of Linkin Park and Steve Aoki. This is a song called Waiting for the Light That Never Comes. Now, this is a cool song. What we've done is we broke out the stems and we've added our own little remix pieces to it. I'm pretty much not the guy that should be doing this right now, but I'm going to show you because it also makes the point. I'm not the musician in the family for sure. My brother and my son are. That gene skipped me, I promise you. I am useless. Uh, you know, being part of a team, good. Trying to make music on my own, very bad. That's me. I'm going to still demonstrate this in a way that I hope not to let the team down and you will see my lack of rhythm, but it will still come to life. I'm just going to push play and start hitting the stems. What you're seeing in front of you is the blade which is a Surface Remix project, combined with the power of Microsoft software. So over here are the stems coming up and down. That's my screen, if you will. And that's the music coming across that is written by Microsoft, where we're able to take this music, break it down, in combination with the Xbox music team, where you can make all this content come to life. Take a quick look. So I'm playing it now. You can hear it playing. I'll add music. You can see I've added the drums just by pushing a button. I try and mix it up a little bit, hit my beats, I hit it, I'll add more. You can see it coming to life a little bit, and then I keep adding, and now I'm creating a song myself, which is something I never did before in my life, and I keep adding. Just to end it, I'm going to end it on a solo for you guys so you can see. That is the Surface Remix Project. You have never seen that before and it is just the beginning the surface team is back in Redmond now working right now on generations to come we're proud of what we're bringing you today we're proud of it we know that when you pick up these devices they will feel great every single detail continues to be thought about the power of designing for all of Microsoft is in this product. You will feel it when you use it. Let's take a look at the lineup that's coming this holiday. Two dates for you to understand. Tomorrow, tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. Eastern Time, we will start taking pre-orders on all the Surface products. You will get data in your packs that show you what that means. There's a few off and on when the dates they launch, but tomorrow, Pre-orders start at 8 a.m. On 10.22, these products will be available for the world. That is the launch date. Within two weeks, every single person in this room will have those products in hand. I want you to have them. I want to thank you for coming here and being part of the Surface journey. But we need you to feel these. You want to understand these products? Use them. Give them two days, use them, feel them. Feel how cool they run, feel how fast they work, see how long they last and how powerful they can be in your life. Take a look at the numbers up there. I'll just walk you through them one more time. Surface RT remains a great product for people to purchase. We continue to see the run rates increase on this product. And right now for an entry price point, it is a very great product comes now with Windows 8.1 and the full office suite, including Outlook.